Northwest rain, we get a lot of it. The city of Tacoma manages hundreds of miles of roads. That's a lot of surface area, and during heavy rains, it's also a lot of storm water runoff. Untreated water that gets into our rivers, lakes, and ultimately the Puget Sound. Tacoma's taking a major step forward in environmental sustainability by tackling runoff at the source by using what's called porous street technology. Well, the porous asphalt or, or concrete, either one, allows the rainwater to naturally soak back into the ground. So your, your typical asphalt, your normal asphalt, the stormwater or the rain she, you know, runs off and goes into our, our curbs and gutters and our storm sewer system. Basically, it hits and it drops right through. Um, it doesn't, it, when you take a visual look, it looks just like any other asphalt. But when you see the water actually hit it and, and, and flow through it, it just, it's just instantaneous. This demonstration is on Clay Huntington Way at Cheney Stadium. It's the first Tacoma Street made from porous asphalt. Another porous material used by the city is concrete. It's a different mix than a concrete mix. It's got um, pores in it, or holes, to allow the water to go through. The key to porous road construction is an aggregate size and the application technique. For example, unlike traditional concrete, the porous version looks more like gray, chunky breakfast cereal. Uh, the pouring is slightly different. Typically, there'll be a little bit more labor involved. Uh, the material's very touchy. It needs to come out at just the right amount of concrete. Um, conventional concrete, like you'd see in sidewalks, has a different style of, of consolidating or compacting. This, you just want to strike the top off and do it evenly so you get that nice water flow. You don't want to over compact it. The end result is controlling surface water at the source without the need for additional piping, drains, or other treatment alternatives. This is just another new technology that is more sustainable and better for the environment. We've done a lot of porous asphalt paving in the area, which is a similar type of a theory um, with the block material. Um, a couple parks, some small roadway projects. We're starting to see more and more of that as well. A portion of the Cheney Stadium parking lot was reconstructed using porous technology that, according to city engineers, cut stormwater flow by more than 70 percent. So now we focus not only on, on reducing flooding, but also on increasing water quality for places like Puget Sound. These new types of construction which we have modeled here at, at the Cheney Stadium project are also showing that they are more cost effective than some traditional pipe replacements. This new technology is actually cheaper. So um, here on Alaska Street, it was, it was about $50,000 cheaper than doing traditional improvements, which would have required um, treatment devices and detention tanks. One added benefit of porous asphalt and concrete projects is the filter factor. As rainwater soaks into the pavement, polluted runoff stays localized and isn't carried downstream. So by controlling both the flow by infiltrating and the increasing the water quality through filtration, and the system, we're seeing uh, it's just a better engineering solution for our current day problem. The Cheney Stadium Sustainable Stormwater Project was awarded a Green Roads Silver Certification. A green road results in something that's e economically and environmentally and also socially more sustainable for community. Uh, so you're, you're basically building a higher value roadway project and being able to measure it with a tool that is a rating system. And what I really like about green roads is that it, it takes a holistic approach to your roads. We started looking at LED lights for energy efficiency. We added um, electric car charging stations and looking at the landscaping. So that's a sustainable, you know, drought tolerant landscaping too. The Green Roads certification makes Tacoma's Clay Huntington Way the first green road in the city and the fourth in the world. Tacoma is sort of a front runner in these, uh, this idea and right now currently has the most registered projects in the entire U.S., which is great, so. In the Northwest, we are one of the leaders. Projects like the Cheney Stadium project, which we're trying multiple different clean green technologies for roads, um, we are a leader in the area. As emphasis on green infrastructure continues growing, so will the use of porous technologies for Tacoma streets, driveways, and parking areas. You'll see more of these projects sprouting up in the years ahead. It's not a fit for every location, uh, but in locations where it's a fit, it's a cost-effective and better solution. We're not building things we don't need. 
um, for stormwater management anymore. We're using that low impact approach and it actually comes back to taxpayer dollars, right? So we have, we have a way to save money by doing green things, which is fun.